Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to make an interactive card that actually swings. Hope you enjoy it. So I'm starting with a piece of paper that's the same size as my background. Mine is five by seven inches and I'm going to blend some dusty Concord Distress Oxide at the top there and then add on some Barn Door Distress Oxide right below it. And right now I'm just putting the ink on the paper. I'm not blending them yet. And I want to create a nice sunset. So I looked at some images of sunsets and I found one with this color scheme that I really liked. So after the barn door, I'm going to add in some squeezed lemonade. Now this is a very light yellow, which can be overpowered easily. So I need to make sure that I don't add too much red or orange around it. So at the very bottom, I'm going to add in some spiced marmalade there. Now, once I have the colors down roughly where I want them, I'm going to go back and forth between them, making sure that they're blended. And as I mentioned, I'm going to make sure that that squeeze lemonade shows through because it's one of these colors that can be easily eclipsed by the others. So this card was inspired by the stamps from Newton's Nook and I wanted to create a scene that happened at dusk right before the sun had set completely. So using the Distress Oxides it creates that beautiful blend and gives the background the effect that I was going for. Now once my background was dry I used some gold paint from Ganzai Tambi and I just sprinkled this on the background to create a beautiful gold splatter. And as I hold this up to the light, you can see the effect that this has on the background, which is just beautiful. Now, once the paint was dry, I put this onto my Make Art Station with the Starfield stencil. This is from Newton's Nook. And I use some Distress Ink in Mustard Seed just to go over the stars to make them stand out. Now this created a very subtle look and you'll see later on, I did end up making this a bit more distinct, but it's up to you if you want this stencil to stand out or to be more of a background image. And that mustard seed combined with the gold just looks beautiful for the top of the card there. Now the main image that I'm using is called the Porch Swing Friends from Newton's Nook. And I'm also going to be using one of the newer stamps. This is called the Heartfelt Roses. And it has a beautiful rose. This was brought out for Valentine's Day but I'm going to heat emboss this image and show you how you can use this stamp for other times of year as well. In fact, I'm going to use these beautiful roses as a garden on my card. So I used Versamark and Clear and then some metallic brass colored Wow heat embossing powder. And I heat this with my heat gun. And I ended up making two of these beautiful hearts and turned it into my rose garden on the front of the cart. And once the embossing powder is completely melted, I went ahead and fussy cut these two hearts as well as the porch swing friends. Now for these heartfelt roses, I use my Distress inks and finger daubers to color them in. So I started with the Aged Mahogany Distress Ink and I added more on the inside of the rose and then blended out so that these roses had a beautiful varied look. Now I did speed through this so the video wasn't too long for you, but you can see that Distress Ink with the embossing powder just looks so beautiful. And then I used a Rustic Wilderness Distress Ink for all the leaves. 
And this was very easy to color. Although there is one part, one leaf that was a little tricky to get to with the finger daubers. So I ended up using some post-it note tape just to create a little bit of a mask so that the top rose on the right there didn't get any green on it. And then I used the rustic wilderness on that little bit of leaf that's sticking there. Once I was done, I cut the heart in half so that I could add both hearts to my garden at the bottom of the card. Now for the coloring of the main image, I used my Copic markers and I just used a light and a dark of each color. So I went in first with my light yellow and then my darker yellow and then I blended the two yellows together. Now I wanted this image to match the background so I used all the same colors that are in the sky, just two shades of each color. Now you might notice at the top of my image when I cut it out I did cut a little bit extra off the top of the swing and that's because I want to add my mechanism to the back of this image and I want it to look like one string on each side of the porch rather than two. I don't know about you but I love coloring animals so I used my Copic markers to add some texture to this dog. And what I did is using the darker C color, I just added little lines to make it look like this dog was very fluffy and hairy. And I did lighter areas over his face, similar to the cat. Now the back of the porch here, I just did as one solid color. And then I used a pink sparkly pen to add details on the cat and a white gel pen just to get rid of those two lines at the top of the porch so that there's only one line. And I also added some small details. Now for my porch, I used a little bit of brown string and attached it on both sides of the image. And I adhered it with PVA white glue and a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place until the glue was dry. So then I adhered the string on the other side of the porch as well and you can see it's already starting to look like a real porch. I used another piece of brown twine and I just knotted it at the top there so that I could have my beautiful interactive porch on my card. Now once that was complete, I lined it up on my card where I wanted it to be and used my die. This is called the slide on over die from Lawn Fawn. And I die cut that little groove. And on the back of a penny, I just glued on one of the MFT replenishments. This is a slider element. It's kind of like a hard tic tac, but you could always use a foam square if you prefer. And I put that through and then pushed my image in the middle of that penny until it was secure. Now the penny helps to add weight and allows your image to slide from side to side. Once I was sure that it was moving, I adhered that top piece of string to the back of the card. And I did the same thing by adding glue and then putting washi tape on top. Now I'm just testing the mechanism to make sure it still works. And then I can add my beautiful rose garden at the bottom. Now this heartfelt roses stamp was probably made for Valentine's Day. But I love the idea of using it beyond February. And this beautiful rose garden at the bottom of my card is just perfect for my little porch friends. So once these are glued on, I slightly overlap them there. I'm going to trim off the bottom and the sides from the card. Perfect. Now I wanted these stars at the top to show up a little bit more. 
So I went over them with a gold pigment pen and this really helped to make them shine and went really well with my splatter on the background. I added a happy birthday sentiment. This is from the stamp set called Bleat. Now before attaching this to my card front, I'm just going to take the inside of that die and glue it onto the front panel here. And that way, when the die is lined up, or when the hole is lined up on the front panel, you can't see the white behind it. And then I'm going to apply some foam tape around the area where the, the side of the penny here. So I'm just using my foam tape and then putting it on the card. And when you have a mechanism like this, you just need to be careful that you don't push too hard and make sure you try it out a few times so that nothing is sticking. So now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to put it on my five by seven inch card. And the inside of the card will have that same heartfelt roses stamp, which I think is beautiful. But I'm gonna use VersaFine Onyx Black for this. And then the sentiment I'm going to use is from the Porch Swing Friends set. And this works perfectly with the card and it says, life is better with a friend like you. And then I'm using PVA glue to adhere my card together. And I'm just going to give it a last try to make sure that it's working and it's swinging perfectly. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day.